be more aggressive. Um, um, you know, they won the boards by four. That's another indicator. Um, you know, I just uh, thought we started off, um, you know, just kind of okay in the game. And, and this is a this is a game that you know, you got to you got to come out really full bore. You know, with a with a with a physical posture. And we just uh, we didn't do it. We 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 got some good things going and stretches throughout the game. But uh, you know the NBA is a league where you've got to you've got to sustain over 48. And we didn't do that tonight. Uh, made a good run at the end, but uh, you know it's it's hard to to have uh, you know to live on on late game comebacks. You know, and so you know it's uh, a disappointing loss. Okay, Tim McMahon. Hey, Rick. Uh, DeRozan obviously had a goal and they hit the big shot there at the end. What was the thought process behind not sending the devil at him and trying to get the ball out of his hands on that possession? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Uh, it's something that we we talked about doing. We talked about doing it in the in the timeout. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to get more specific on ex- on exactly. Um, what our triggers were on that. Uh, obviously, we should have gone, um, and that's that's on me. But we had uh, we had talked about doing it. Um, I'll have to look at it, and I can give you a better answer tomorrow. Tim Cato. Yeah, Rick. Um, ha- have you seen a player this young uh, in Luca being as refined in his post game as he is? And is there anybody he reminds you of with uh, with the post game and how he uses it? Uh, he reminds me of Luka Doncic. I mean, he's been this good. He hasn't been. He's been. He's gotten better um, over two and a half years. But uh, he's been good in the post, you know, ever since he came here. Um, and so, you know, that's a. It's a great skill, and and you know, tonight, uh, San Antonio was mixing up some late double teams, and you know, he he, he does both. He he gets the catch. He sees the floor. Um, you know, the great, the great ones like, you know, him and Kidd and Bird and LeBron, Kobe, you know, those kind of guys, you know, they got, it's like they have eyes in the back of their head. Um, so he was great in the post, um, all night long. Brad? Yeah, Rick, you mentioned that he started the game being okay. Uh, they also hit you at the start of the second, third, and fourth quarters. I think it was like 5 0, 9 2. 11 to uh, kind of put you back on your heels. Can you put a finger on what was going on at the start of each of those quarters? Were they just more aggressive than you guys? Yeah, uh, I, I think that's the simple answer. Um, you know, we're, we're, a, we're a team that's still learning some lessons about, you know, just keeping our guard up, um, navigating through a, a very busy schedule, um, et cetera. It's not an excuse. It's just a fact. Um, but we've, we've come a long way over, you know, I, I call it two years, you know, since we kind of had this group together and, uh, you know, we got a quick turnaround and we got, you know, one of the best teams in the league, uh, coming in tomorrow. And so, um, this will be, uh, this will be a good test for us.